Hello everyone, this is IS3 Boyan and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use Stablex UI with Haxa Builder. So let's start our simple project. Stablex UI project uh, test. So first thing we will need is to include Stablex UI library to our project. So we can do this by copying this line to our application XML. So now we have it. Uh, next thing we will need is to add this line. We need our OE builder. So I will remove this code. So this project will be easy to understand. So I just copy this line and I click Ctrl Shift 1 and I got included it in my project. So uh, let's create a bot file to easily start our Hexa Builder. And I will add pause, but it's not really required. So let's execute. Build started, and here we go. So now we have it, but uh, we don't have any we. So let's add XML file and name it something like first. Go to the next chapter and just copy and paste that, but we don't see it because I haven't added this on stage. So to add this on stage, we need to add this line. So what this line does? This line builds our XML file using macros and returns it as a sprite, as a GUI. So we can add this using a child. So we don't, it's actually added but we can see it because background is black. So let's change background real quick. Okay now we see my first widget right and we can modify this file to anything we want. It takes some time to compile one thing you need to know about this is you need to put any text in uh, those double quotes and and uh, single quotes because anyway it will just uh, my throw some books so you can see I can change position and other things I can add some more text and it will be positioned so we can see this text because we will need to add some element like vertical box because it's just same text and puts it in the uh, same things so you can see now group it properly so it works fine when you save file it will recompile it Haxa Builder and send over here message to update this page so this is how it works so next thing next thing we, we can do is um, to try out some other widgets some extend some other widgets create own widget and many other things use some skins and other things 
So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this video. Good luck with Stablex UI. It's really nice framework. It's very easy to use. So, bye guys.